Question 12 says an engine absorbs 1.68 kilojoules from a hot reservoir at 277 degrees Celsius and expels 1.16 kilojoules to a cold reservoir at 27 degrees Celsius in each cycle. A. What is the engine's efficiency? B. How much work is done by the engine in each cycle? And C. What is the power output of the engine if each cycle lasts 0 0.305 seconds? Now the first thing I think is important to point out is this problem gives uh, two different temperatures, a hot temperature and a cold temperature. Now those are just red herrings. They're absolutely worthless. And the reason for that is this engine, it's not asking us what the maximum theoretical efficiency of the engine is. It's asking us what the actual efficiency of the engine is. If we were calculating the maximum theoretical efficiency, we would use the temperatures, but because it gives us what the work actually, what is the work actually done, and it gives us what the energy actually transferred is, we're getting the actual numbers, not the theoretical numbers, and so we can't do anything with those temperatures. And what I mean is this, so we say that the efficiency of the engine is equal to 1 minus the energy transferred from the cold, uh, to the cold, from the cold reservoir divided by the energy transferred from the hot reservoir. And it tells us exactly what those amounts are. From the hot reservoir, it says the engine absorbs 1.68 kilojoules. And from the cold reservoir, it tells us that it expels 1.16 kilojoules. When we divide this number up, what we get is we get is 1 minus 0 0.69, 0476, 047. We'll just stop there. And so the efficiency of this engine is 30.95%. Now if you did this where where you set the the cold reservoir the temperature the energy transferred to the cold reservoir divided by the energy transferred to the hot reservoir if you set that equal to the temperature of the cold divided by the temperature of the hot then you're saying that you're that it's operating at maximum theoretical efficiency. And you would get a you would get an efficiency value of about forty five point four four percent for maximum. It doesn't want the maximum theoretical; it wants the actual. The next part it asks us what the work, how much work is done by the engine in each cycle. And so, if you remember the the work done by the engine on the environment is equal to the net of the transfers of energy. And so, the work done by the engine is equal to the transfer of energy from the hot interval from the hot reservoir minus the transfer of energy from the cold reservoir now always setting those to the absolute value well it turns out that this is equal to uh 1.68 uh 1.68 kilojoules so kilojoules minus 1.16 kilojoules is what it tells us in the problem and so we end up getting 0 0.52 kilojoules as the answer well the the problem asks for the answer in in units of joules so we got to we have to times this by 1000 joules per 1 kilojoule and we get that there are 520 joules of work done in each cycle and then it says, what if the power output of the engine in each cycle lasts 0 0.305 seconds? So, so we would say that power is equal to work divided by the change of time. And so the work we said in one cycle was 520 joules divided by the change of time it took to get those joules was 0 0.305 seconds. And so the power is equal to... 1,704.918 joules, and it wants, or I'm sorry, not joules, watts, and it wants those units in kilowatts, so we have to divide it by a thousand, a thousand watts per kilowatt, and you should get that the power is equal to 1.74, or I'm sorry, 1.704918 kilowatts.